Reason number six for loving Bonsai 3D is all the specialty tools peppered in throughout the program. For example, the roof tool. Click on any closed boundary, for example, a closed wall, a 2D shape, or the top face of a 3D solid object. Now this is a parametric roof that is generated that has all sorts of parameters that can be modified after it's created inside the tool options. Another specialty tool is the stair tool. Simply click on a path and you can generate a parametric stair. Notice in the modeling window we have all sorts of controls that we can use to modify all the parametric parameters for the stair, for example the height, the step width, and even the path that it follows. And there's plenty of options that we can change also inside of the tool options palette for an infinite variety of different types of stairs. And there's even a spiral stair tool. Just simply click on a line which will be the center of your spiral stair. All sorts of parameters in the tool options to create the type of spiral stair that you want. And of course, just like the other tools, we have all sorts of controls that we can use to further modify that inside the modeling window. The terrain tool is another special tool that lets you create a 3D solid site model from contour lines. The contours can be drawn in Bonsai 3D or imported from some other program. Simply select all of the contours and then we choose the terrain tool and then we click on a boundary site and a 3D site model is generated. We can choose the type of model that we want such as stepped, triangulated, or a meshed model. And there's plenty of other parameters that we can modify within the terrain tool parameters. And one more specialty tool in Bonsai 3D that we'll look at is the section tool that lets you interactively cut a section through your model using real-time booleans. The first thing we do is select all the objects that we would like to perform a section on. We select the section tool and then click on a face or a plane that will define the section plane. And then you can see we can interactively move using real-time booleans that section cut through our selected objects. Not only can we move it in the X, Y, or Z direction, but we can also rotate that section cut through any of the X, Y, or Z axis. There's many more specialty tools, but let's move on to reason number five as to why you're going to love Bonsai 3D. How about the example content libraries that come with it? Trees, furniture, people? Feel free to use the existing libraries that come with Bonsai 3D, or you can even create your own. When placing content, you can choose an option that keeps 2D content aligned to your view. For example, select the Place tool, turn on the Align with View option, and now when you place your items, uh, they will remain aligned with your current camera view. Let's place a couple more items here. Let's go to the Realistic Trees, scroll down the list. Let's find maybe this one right there, plant that one. And now let's spin our view around and you'll see that the Align to View option automatically makes sure that that 2D content will always be facing your camera angle. You can also place doors and windows that automatically insert holes into your object. For example, let's create a wall by choosing the Vector Line tool and the 3D Enclosure icon. And I'll double click at the end and extrude that into a 3D solid wall. Now choose the Place Door Window tool. And then there's plenty of content that comes with Bonsai 3D. If we look at the doors library, we can choose a garage door and place that. Choose one of these other doors, put that on the side wall. And let's move to a different library. How about the windows library? Choose the window that we want and just simply place it right on the object. If I were to zoom in and move the items that we placed into the wall, you can see that Bonsai 3D automatically inserted an opening for that content into the object. You can also place SketchUp models from 3D Warehouse into Bonsai 3D. Simply click on the Download from 3D Warehouse button, and then search for the model you want in the 3D Warehouse website, then click the Download button, and the item is automatically added to your content library and placed at the end of your cursor, ready to be placed in your model. Reason number four for loving Bonsai 3D is that it plays well with others. Bonsai 3D supports over 20 different import-export formats. You can also import an aerial site from Google Earth. Just find your site location in Google Earth. Then in Bonsai 3D, choose the Google Earth Get Current View option. And Bonsai 3D automatically creates a 2D rectangle and maps the image to the plane at the proper scale. You can also export your Bonsai 3D model into Google Earth. Just export your model as a KMZ file. Then open the KMZ file in Google Earth. And your Bonsai 3D model is now viewable inside of the Google Earth environment. And the number three reason why you're going to just love Bonsai 3D is the advanced real-time rendering. 
Bonsai 3D comes with hundreds of predefined materials. Simply drag and drop the material onto your object, and live interactive texture mapping lets you scale, move, and rotate your texture right in the modeling window. In addition, Bonsai 3D automatically assigns the proper mapping to the different parts of your object. For example, if I were to Boolean union a sphere to a cylinder, you can see that flat mapping has automatically been applied to the bottom face, and cylindrical mapping has been automatically applied to the outer cylindrical part of the object. And then if we were to apply the texture map tool on the top surface, you can see that spherical mapping has been automatically applied to that face. And the number two reason why you're going to love Bonsai 3D is the Match View tool, which lets you match your Bonsai 3D model to a background image. All you need to do is model your design in Bonsai 3D, then you load an image into the background. And now all you need to do is use the Match View tool to match points of your model to points in the background image. Simply click on a point of your model and click on a point in the background image. You can use three, four, five, as many sets of points that are needed to properly match your view with a view of the background image. Now all we need to do is click on the Solve button and your model is matched to the background image. And the number one reason why you're going to love Bonsai 3D is its ability to create, edit, and sculpt organic complex forms with the NURBS tools. If you're tired of being limited to boxy shapes, let the NURBS tools in Bonsai 3D take you to new heights in 3D conceptual modeling. There are many ways to create NURBS objects, but in this demo, we'll show just a couple. One method is to loft across two or more control lines. Simply click on the lines, and the surface is generated across those lines. And here we have a nice drape. There's all sorts of controls that we can use to further edit or manipulate that NURBS surface by pushing and pulling on those controls to reshape the NURBS object. One other way of making a NURBS object is to convert an existing object into a NURBS object. For example, let's extrude a spline to make a surface object. If I were to modify the controls of that extruded spline, you can see I can modify the height, and I can modify the original controls of that spline shape. Now let's use the NURBS Convert tool. Click on the object, and it's converted into a NURBS object. So if I show the controls on that, you see we have additional controls that are on the object. If we use the NURBS Reconstruct tool, we can actually increase or decrease the number of controls that are distributed across that NURBS object. So this gives us a lot more flexibility with being able to edit that shape by having more controls and the amount of controls that we want on that object to reshape it. One other really neat thing about the NURBS objects is that if you were to drag and drop a material onto the object, because it's a NURBS object, it automatically parametrically maps that material onto that surface. In conclusion, we would like to mention one more really cool feature in Bonsai 3D. Bonsai 3D comes with over four hours of embedded video tutorials that show you step by step how to use the Bonsai 3D tools demonstrated in this demo and many more tools. This way you can learn at your own pace without the need for any expensive training sessions. Bonsai 3D is available for the Macintosh and the Windows operating systems. Download a fully functional trial version today at Bonsai3D.com and witness what the excitement is all about.